everyone, my name is Eitan Bernath, and I'm going to be taking over the Feed Feed Snapchat today. I'm a teen chef and food blogger from Teaneck, New Jersey. I had the awesome experience a little over two years ago to appear on the popular Food Network show Chopped in the first ever kids episode. I do cooking demos, appearances, and cooking classes all around the tri-state area, and as I mentioned, I have a food blog. You can check out my blog at cookwithchefetan.com, and here I post weekly recipes every Sunday. Also, you should definitely check me out at Chef Eitan Bernath on Instagram, where I post all my adventures in the kitchen. The recipe we're going to be making today is my homemade artisan bread with rosemary roasted garlic. You make your own bread sounds something that's like going to be very challenging, but really this bread is super easy. It's only got four ingredients. Ingredients are flour, water, yeast, and salt. All right, let's start the bread. To our bowl here, we are going to add in three cups of all-purpose flour. Next, we're gonna mix in our yeast and our salt. Finally, we're gonna add in our cup and a half of water. And we just wanna mix it till it comes together. That's it. This is how much you want to mix it. You don't want to knead it at all. You just want to mix it until it's combined. I've loosely covered this with some plastic wrap, and now we're going to put it in a warm place for 10 to 24 hours. We're not going to make the garlic, but we first have to go outside and pick some fresh rosemary. By the way, my tomato plants are doing amazing. Look at all those tomatoes. I can't wait to pick them and make them into something yummy. To start the roasted garlic, what we need to do is just, we want to cut off the top of the garlic. Alright, here we go. Look at that. So we're going to put this in our piece of tin foil, and we are going to now add on top our rosemary. Next, we're going to drizzle on a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Finally, some salt and some freshly ground pepper. Then we're going to bring all four of the sides up and we're going to bunch it together at the top. So here's what it looks like when you're done and we're going to set this off aside and later we're going to put it in the oven to roast. This is what the dough looks like after it's risen overnight. We're now going to heavily flour our work surface. What we're going to do is we're going to dump out our dough onto our flour. Now what we're going to do is kind of just mush it together until it forms a ball of dough that's not too sticky. Now we're going to pinch the end of the dough just to seal it and turn it back over and do that for another minute or so. I have been preheating my oven here at 450 for about a half an hour and I put in my cast iron skillet and now we're going to take it out. I'm going to pour in a little bit of olive oil and use a paper towel just to spread it around so that the dough doesn't stick. Next I'm going to transfer my dough into our cast iron skillet. I've scored the dough with my serrated knife, and now we're going to put our cast iron skillet with our dough and our garlic into the oven. We've got them both in the oven now, and we are going to let them bake for 30 to 45 minutes. Our bread's been baking for about 45 minutes, and it's almost done. But I'm going to show you guys a quick tip that I've been doing this whole time to get it a really nice and crunchy crust. All that you need to do this is some spray bottle or anything, just something that can spray water. And you want to open your oven and you want to spray around, making sure that you get all over the bread. This gives the bread a nice, really hard, crunchy crust. I think our bread is done. Look at that bread, it has a nice, Hard crust on the outside. Yeah. 
Mm, that garlic looks so good. It's nice and caramelized. I can't wait to spread it on my bread. I'm now gonna let the bread rest for about 10 to 15 minutes because if we cut it right now, it's gonna be really gummy on the inside. See, it's that easy to make your own homemade artisan bread at home. You can find this recipe and many more on cookwithchefeton.com. Also, remember to follow me on Instagram, at chefetonbrenef, where I post all my adventures in the kitchen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this bread. And if you want to take over the feed feed, just send them a snap and let them know what you'd like to make.